It was supposed to be a fond farewell for Marta at this World Cup, one of the all-time greats of women's football, announcing she'd be hanging up her boots, and many expected Brazil to finally deliver, to do what they came so close to in 2007, to actually win the whole tournament. Many people were comparing Lionel Messi's Argentina in Qatar to Brazil and their potential at this World Cup with so many great attackers in the team. And after that first game against Panama, who yes, left the door open at the back, but the way Brazil attacked, the way Brazil went forward was gorgeous. It was exactly what you expected of this team. We were expecting Marta to play a part. Dabinha, Carolyn, Jezzy, we were expecting so much of this Brazil team. But things slowed down very quickly. They lost to France. Things were looking a bit stodgy. And against a resolute Jamaica team, they could not find the back of the net. They could not break the deadlock and bowed out with a nil-nil draw in Melbourne. But this is a... This is a massive, massive result for Jamaica and send shockwaves into South American football because Brazil are the dominant team. They have not missed a World Cup. They always sit atop the rankings in Comibol. They teach the rest of the continent how to play women's football. And what this could potentially mean in upsetting the balance is huge. No one expected this of Brazil, not with the talent in this team, not with the experience most of these players have. This is a big, big day in Brazilian football and an unexpected one at this World Cup.